what's up everybody back again with another reaction and next up I got the top 10 Chinese game consoles you didn't know existed it's about a channel I have game ranks so I'll leave the link to the original video in the description below so let's get it Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. That's all the consoles there are, right? Well, in the West. I'm Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 Chinese video game consoles you didn't know exist. Believe it or not, up until 2015, China had banned video game consoles, so these all would have been contraband not long ago. Number 10 is the Oye, which modifies one letter from the short-lived Oya, or Ouya, and also decided to go ahead and rip off both the PS4 and the Xbox One. I mean, it literally just has an Xbox One controller and has the body of a PS4 with that Xbox One venti thing that they stopped putting on the console. However, the console itself is kind of a piece of garbage, just an Android thing. I mean, nothing against Android consoles because they do serve a purpose and they can be a lot of fun, but when you're basically trying to act as though you have something that is like the Xbox One and the PS4 and it turns out to be an Android console, somebody's gonna be like, yeah, nope. Number nine is the Phony P3. As you can see from the controller here, it is literally a direct ripoff of the Sony PlayStation. They were like, let's like split up the shapes on the buttons. And somebody else was like, yeah. They're far from the only people who have done that though. A pretty fantastic one that pretty much did the exact same thing was the Game Child, which is a tiny little Game Boy with one button. Another PlayStation called the Skewmi. And finally, the Hammy Wee Wee. I don't even have to say anything about that. You know, I can tell me that. Number eight is the PCP station, which, yeah, it's literally just an LCD game thing. It doesn't have a color display, though it advertises itself as having a color display. The only reason you could call it color was specifically that it had a backlight that created color, but sprites and characters were black, you know, because they were LCD wow. games. Number seven is the Snail Obox, which is an Android gaming console. Like I said, not the worst thing in the world or anything. There's plenty of good Android gaming consoles, actually. This one happened to run on an NVIDIA K1, which isn't bad, but it's called the Obox, and it's very clearly meant to look like somewhere between a computer and an Xbox. In fact, I'd go ahead and say that it's taking on that time-honored, hey, somebody probably won't know the difference between an Xbox and an Obox when they're buying something, and might buy ours, approach, which is not a good approach. It has a couple of cool things, like four terabytes of storage in one of the massive storage options it has, as well as 3D and 4K video. It also has modular designs, so you can actually interchange parts on it, but I mean, it was released a couple years ago and it hasn't set the world on fire, so I can't imagine it's that big of a deal. Number six is Chinese knockoff Game Boy Advances, like the K1 GBA, which is really an awesome reproduction of the body of the Game Boy Advance. Even it has TV out, and then there's also the Revo K101, which has a completely different form factor. However, in my opinion, it's kind of a superior console on account there's just a ton of options for play on this thing and there's really no way to make any jokes that dunk on it it's just an awesome piece of hardware I mean if you like classic Nintendo games number five is the Nintendo 64 IQ which was released in China uh, under a Nintendo subsidiary as an attempt to get around the game console ban the IQ is basically a controller it had no ports for adding games to it it just had the games that came on it which included Mario 64 and Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, it's fully constructed to get around legal wording of what a video game console is. In other words, it is by no means an ideal thing. It's actually a lot like those garbage 30 game plus things that you can buy in the toy store or Walmart. Number four is the Morpheus X300, which is basically a Nintendo Switch that doesn't really seem to have anything to it wow. other than- there are already the knockoffs of the big, Switch, are you serious? Controllerless 3D gaming tablet. It's an Android tablet, so obviously it's not as good as a Nintendo Switch. And believe it or not, it actually came first. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that Nintendo ripped it off, but still, the similarities are striking. Number three, the Jungle Track Sport V, which is literally a Wii clone. It very literally was a much more limited game console. It had a 16-bit CPU in it, if you're really wondering exactly how powerful it was. And obviously, it didn't actually compete with the Wii. It just 
looked like one. Like I said, it's one of those grifts where they attempt to look like something that's popular, so somebody buys it. Number two is the PolyStation line of consoles, which sounds quite a bit like it would be there to emulate the PlayStation, right? Nope, they're there for the Nintendo. The first PolyStation emulates the NES, the Super PolyStation 2 emulates the Super Nintendo, and the Mini PolyStation 3 was actually a Nintendo DS ripoff. I don't know why, but the Mini PolyStation 3 has a tiny controller that, I don't know, it looks ridiculous. And finally, number one is an Xbox Kinect clone called iDong. I don't even really have to describe the system to you, just that it is called the iDong. Yes, I fully understand that dong most likely means something different in Chinese, but it's a console called the iDong. There's no coming back from that. What did you think? Were there any of these that you wow. thought might actually be cool to have or just think it's all ridiculous? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you're not subscribed, it's a great man. time to do so. Fifth, we upload and they come up with some crazy names for, the, for their system, the well, is for their knockoff system. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me so. on Twitter at Falcon the Hero. And we'll Anyways, see you next time. if you like this on game video, games. remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.